G'day guys and welcome to my RXY SVT video. Today I'm going to be talking to you guys about NRL men's semi-finals um, recap for 2019 guys. So let's get started. So this first match of this um, game we saw the Rabbitohs taking on the Manly Sea Eagles. This game was an absolute fighter. I cannot believe that this game held on with so many tries scoring in this match. Which I was a bit surprised that the Manly Sea Eagles got off with that start. But then Rabbitohs just come back and scoring heaps of tries with Cameron Murray scoring the winning try of that game to make it off to Canberra to take on the Raiders um, for next week's round anyway. But that one was an absolute great game though. I tell you, that one was an absolute splendor because I thought to myself that Manly Sea Eagles were going to win that. But then you got the Rabbitohs were just on fire and had that game to an absolute top level. But I've got to tell you another thing too. There was a couple of errors in that game where you got um, Jake Trufovich, um push Dane Gagai um, in, that, um, piece, um, in that piece of play, which I thought to myself, you can't really do that because that really um, destroys that game a bit, which I thought to myself that it, that was just a bit wrong um, when he did that. But I don't hate him. I, I just think that that was just a bit uh, poor how the way he did it. But then you got Brad Parker, um, how he um, how he did that um, high tackle, um, which I didn't really have a look at it. But then um, also you got uh, Cody Walker, which he had um, a bit of blue on um, so many plays, which I thought to myself that he is a great player, but he needs to calm down into that bit of a um, great um, a standard. But that game was an absolute great game, though. But I did go for the Rabbitohs, though, by 10 points. And they did get the job done by a couple of points. And I thought to myself that that game was brilliant. And what an entertaining game of football to watch at ANZ Stadium yeah, um, on Friday night. But, yeah, it was an absolute great game to watch. So the next game of that round, we saw this Melbourne Storm taking on the Parramatta Eels. My mate Entertain House was at that game. And he was just... I'll tell you, he would have been so embarrassed of that clash because I thought to myself that the Melbourne Storm are on fire because every time I see them play, they're just, they're an absolute great footy team. 10 out of 10 footy team, even 100%. I just thought that Melbourne Storm are just going to get that job done. And I thought to myself that what was the point of going for the Parramatta Eels if the Melbourne Storm are just going to win that game? I thought to myself that the Parramatta Eels were going to cause an upset, but I was wrong. And yeah, literally, the Melbourne Storm hang on with that um, points. And the scoreline was 32 points to nil. And that game was an absolute brilliant game to watch. And I really did think that the uh, Parramatta Eels, they just was playing really poor. But literally, they just played with their heart out. Entertain us would have been there anyway like at Amy Park in Melbourne to watch that game and he was there but he would have been so disappointed so like angry and yeah he would have been not proud of himself um, of the way that we didn't play really well in that game but I really thought to myself that it was just a surprising win only because that last time we were at Brisbane, we got flogged 64 points to 10. That was at that magic round. But yeah, it was an absolute great game for um, that clash for the Melbourne Storm taking on the Parramatta Eels. And that game was just absolute... I'll tell you, it was probably like a flogging, but I'm not going to say that. It was just probably an average game of football. But yeah, I did tip the Parramatta Eels though by four points. But unfortunately, they didn't get the job done. But unfortunately, they only conceded um, for the Melbourne Storm to get um, 32 points to nil. But yeah, that game was just a brilliant game. But yeah, I really think that Michael Sebo played really well. Um, even Josh Adakar played really well. And you've got um, Jerome Hughes played really well too. Uh, he scored a couple of tries. But yeah, he dominated play. And those two are an absolute great um Good quality um, players um, to see. But, yeah, that game was an absolute great game. But, yeah, hopefully we don't get to see that next year in the dreadful dying clash. But, yeah, 
I could not even pronounce it, but it was just a heartbreaking loss to see the Melbourne Storm winning against the Parramatta Eels, the 30 point, 32 points to nil. But yeah, I would have been disappointed and really angry, but I was. But yeah, surprising um, win for the Melbourne Storm, though. Thanks guys for watching my video guys, stay tuned for more, I will be doing two videos coming to you soon which that means they'll be doing the women's um, predictions and plus the men's predictions that will be coming to you guys very um, soon and yeah, thanks guys for, um, for watching my video and hope to go hope you guys see my next videos um, later um, soon but yeah, um, it will be coming out either Monday or Tuesday but I really hope it's probably a Tuesday but yeah, I'm, I am going to do the two videos probably on Tuesday, either on Monday but yeah, thanks guys for watching my video guys. Um, hope, hope you guys um, have a wonderful um, evening and night. But yeah, thanks guys and see you guys next time. Until then, take care.